Hey there, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today to talk about zero-shot object tracking. So zero-shot object tracking is basically object tracking with an object detection model where we don't have to train any separate classifiers in order to do object tracking. So let's zoom back here real quick. What is object tracking? Object tracking is when you use an object detection model to make predictions, and those predictions have a sense of continuity across frame over frame. So here you can see this car here, this silver car is identified as number one, the number one car for all of the frames where the object detection model is, is running. So that requires an extra step from frame over frame to be matching up which frames recognize in previous frames. So previously in object tracking, uh, what was done was a classifier was trained across the whole stream of object tracks. This would create uh, object track features which could then be compared uh, within regions to identify which uh, track is most likely uh, to be kind of continuing the continuity of the object. Now, the annoying thing about this was that you would have to train a whole nother model, a whole nother classifier, and you'd have to annotate these different streams of objects. And now that is something that is uh, rather unfortunate from our point of view. So we decided to try to work and strip all of that out by using the OpenAI generalized clip model which is a model that basically is a zero shot object, uh, uh, zero shot image classifier. So you can use the features from the clip model, the zero shot features, and do the whole same object tracking routine. It's crazy. And you might think, well, this is some, uh, something that just leave, lives in research and maybe this is something that's just living inside Jacob's head. That's not true. It is open source and we have it open source available for you now here at the roboflow-ai backslash zero shot object tracking repo. We're really excited for you guys to uh, get a hold of this and start working on this, uh, one of Roboflow's first uh, open source projects. So if you wanna use this, uh, basically all you need to do is have an object detection model ready to go. And then you can hook that into this repo. We'll download clip, which will be doing those object track features. Uh, you download some requirements um, and then you just simply run this clip object tracker .py with the source of your video and then the URL uh, where your model is hosted on uh, Roboflow with Roboflow train and uh, your API key here. Now, of course, this is showing how to do it with the Roboflow inference API, but we will also be coming out with ways how to do this with YOLO v4, YOLO v5, other uh, object detection models that you might have trained. And of course, uh, PRs are always welcome on this repo and always feel free to make issues and we'll be uh, taking a look at it and building it uh, over the coming weeks and, and months. So that's a quick tour of the zero shot object tracking with Roboflow. Of course, I encourage you to dive in a little bit more and to try this, of course, to try this on your own data set with your own models because we all know that that's where uh, things really start to get useful in computer vision these days. So uh, to sum it up, this is a zero shot object tracker here trained. Um, th this, this prediction on these cards are done using uh, public cards data set uh, on Roboflow Universe, which you can adapt with your own data sets. And uh, there's no extra model that is being trained here. It is only the object detection model that is trained uh, on the cards and then you're able to then do object tracking, which is a really cool thing. Uh, hopefully you uh, get some great use out of it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Please check out our repository linked below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.